So I know a lot of people are finally wrapping up the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 and wondering when Red Dead Online will be available. Up to this point, Rockstar Games has been very quiet on the multiplayer side of Red Dead Redemption 2 because, well, that wasn't the focus. And right now I think the company is letting people enjoy and make their way through the single player component before switching the attention to the multiplayer. Red Dead Online is going to be massive and I think a lot of people including myself are curious to see how it will be. So today I wanted to go over a ton of leaked information that has been released by Rockstar Intel. It looks like people have been digging into the game's files and have found data which is related to the Red Dead Online experience we'll be getting sometime this month in the form of a beta. But before we get to all of that, consider subscribing, I still have a lot of Red Dead content to come, and also consider getting geared up for this western by getting the popular Red Moon or Wanted shirt designs. If you're interested in getting these Red Dead themed t-shirts or any of the other designs, there will be a link in the description below. Nonetheless, so up to this point, the last updates we officially have received on the online experience from Rockstar was a statement on their newswire that came right before the release of the game, which pretty much stated there would be technical issues or bugs and there's a reason why this is being released first in the form of a beta. But they also added that more information would be coming in the weeks ahead, which it's been about a week since release, so an update officially should be coming very soon. But lastly, they interestingly stated that Red Dead Online will be ready to be explored alone or with friends and will also feature constant updates and adjustments to grow and evolve this experience for all the players. Now other than just this statement, PlayStation has been hyping up some of the early content PlayStation 4 players will receive ahead of the Xbox One version, and they did release some footage which clearly looks like character customization is similar to GTA Online than Red Dead Redemption which had you choosing a character. But getting to some of the more recent official updates we have gotten on the online experience Experience. Another one came from an interview Rockstar co-founder Dan Hauser did with Vulture.com, which he stated that his focus is on the game's multiplayer mode right now, which will debut in November, for which scenes are still being written even as they are being shot in Rockstar's motion capture studios. Dan says, We want it to be as robust as Grand Theft Auto Online once it's found its feet creatively. So that is officially what we know right now as of late, which really isn't much, although thanks to various leaks in the last few days, we're starting to learn more about what the online mode will offer. Again, a big shout out to Rockstar Intel who first leaked that Red Dead Online will feature properties, which isn't at all that surprising, although the single player interestingly does not feature them. Anyway, the list does come from in-game files and most of the data is not there, it's incomplete right now, but we do get some. And right now we know that there's at least 10 properties, all with the same $1,000 price tag, which obviously is just a placeholder, and will be updated once we get closer. We're Weirdly enough, Property 6 actually does come with a tagline which says, Rugged homeliness in the countryside. But in all honesty, I do wonder what type of businesses we can buy, like maybe a brothel, gambling boat, hotel, saloon, and a ranch. I just kind of wonder how far this will go. But next, Rockstar Intel leaked some of the horses and vehicles that will be featured. Again, the prices are all the same at $500, something that will change, but these are at least some of the vehicles that will be available. A horse cart, a supply wagon, a utility wagon, a war wagon, a small coach, which is the only one that features a description, which says, comfort guaranteed in this small coach classic. Next is the chuck wagon, and then there's the chuck wagon with a Gatling gun. For horse from this leak, we know that there will be a Hungarian half-bred, a Missouri Foxtrotter, a Dutch warm blood, and a Turkoman. Now the last leak provided by Rockstar Intel actually originally comes from Fireboyd78, who seems to have dug up even more data from the game files, and looking at this list that he provided, there are some really interesting new things. We obviously have the mention of respawning, informing the law, dueling, parlay, feud, leader feud, and predator ability. The last one is the most notable, as this sounds like it may be connected to hunting animals in Red Dead Online, and I do wonder if it's maybe a variation of Eagle Eye just made for the multiplayer side. But other than that, we can join or create posses, maybe we'll be able to challenge the leader of the group or gang, and maybe tell the law about crimes players have committed. This is just wild speculation, but I do want to know if you guys have some differing theories on how some of these things may or may not work. Let me know down in the comment section below. Now the last thing Rockstar Intel did leak was that races, missions, and deathmatches would indeed be featured in Red Dead Online. 
So yeah, right now, we're starting to get a better understanding of what Rockstar is creating. In past months, we've had the trusted review leak, which detailed quite a few different things the online mode would include, such as gold mining, fishing, herding, weapon challenges, and maybe a battle royale mode. But they also detailed two new online modes, which first is Revive and Survive, which pits two teams against each other as they try and stay alive. You'll have a limited amount of time to revive your teammates before they are eliminated. The other mode, Money Grab, apparently features two teams fighting to procure bags of money in a central location, you're expected to collect and return them to your base as quickly as possible. Besides just this leak, with the different versions of this game, we also received information about the online mode via the Ultimate Edition that detailed different types of weapons, horses, outfits, and equipment that will be available, which includes the Black Chestnut Thoroughbred, the Pump Action Shotgun, the High Plains Cutting Saddle, and the Black Rose Bounty Hunter outfit. Also, what was mentioned is that we'll have a personal camp that can be customized, and a rank bonus that helps you reach up to rank 25 faster. More recently, something we discussed in a past video was the achievements belonging to Red Dead Redemption 2, which had quite a few just related to Red Dead Online. Some of those include completing free roam events and missions, purchasing camp improvements, forming a persistent posse, crafting ammo and other items, selling items to the butcher, picking up herbs, owning multiple horses, and reaching certain ranks. But yeah, that for the most part is a lot of the new new leaks and information regarding Red Dead Online, obviously also included is some of the past details we've gotten throughout 2018. Anyway, we should be seeing an official online trailer very soon as well as a release date, but I really do wonder what big differences we'll see in Red Dead Online versus the single player component. But thank you guys for watching and let me know down in the comment section below your expectations and hopes for Red Dead Online, but if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. And and consider subscribing for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 and online content to come, as I'm one of your best sources on this game, and remember, Outlaws for Life.